I am on my way right now to go pick up the GT40 from Dean. We're gonna see if we can get it to run today and then if everything looks good, maybe we try to drive it under its own power today. So let's pick up this beast. Today we take delivery of the G240. Hello. Hey, how are you guys doing? Good, how are you doing? Good, good. No Sandy. beer shirt today. No, I ran out of beer shirt. <laughs> we'll have to get you some beer shirt. I'm gonna have to get some more beer shirt or some other shirt. Well, you didn't part this out or sell the property and get rid of the car before I got back, Not yet. so. Not yet, but if you were two weeks later, I, I might. <laughs> <laughs> So do you want to start to start this baby? You texted me saying you figured out how to start it, but you didn't tell me what happened. You have to push this in oh. before you crank it over. I want to fire it. Want to fire it. Yeah. All right. This is great. Yeah, we don't have any seats. So. Where are the seats for it? It's in the house. Okay. You use them as, as seats to like watch I, TV. For my, and... for my cats. <laughs> cats. Yeah, for my cats. You're just, just like, like Sandy. Like, Sandy. Like the, like how the many Daytona. cats do you have? I have two now. Two? Just two. Sandy's got your beats. Sandy has um, 13 yeah, mine's cats. A, mine's the wild one. They get goes everywhere. Um, they come home once a week, mm. eat, then leave again. Oh, like outdoor? Yes, they're outdoor. And, well, indoor and outdoor. I'm so impressed by animals like that. My sheep could never. There we go. See, oh, you hear that? I hear, you hear it that? now. All right. So what we're going to do is see that button right here? Push that button. Oh, well, right. it's carbureted, right? Let me uh, yes. give it some gas yes. first. Well, we can give you a, Is yes. it neutral? Well, I guess, it's yeah, you can. It's neutral already. It's don't, don't, yes. Okay. All right, well, I'm just gonna. Right. <laughs> Does that sound good? <laughs> Ain't that great? That's oh my god, it did! Right? <laughs> Remember, now you break it, you pay your body, all right? <laughs> no money back there, no more money back. <laughs> no money back guarantee. Now you know it's done. <laughs> But I gotta get I gotta hear this. Actually, watch your fingers. Oil pressure. Tabs, everything looking good. Everything works, I think. <laughs> it had a lot of problem because of uh, the electrical problem. It sat in Albuquerque for so long. Rat, it was infested with rats. Oh no. So it ate a lot of the wine, so I've been fixing all the wine. Okay. But I think I did all of it already. Well, it fired. I, Everything it looks, looks good. good. Yeah. Everything actually came up. I tested. I just never driven it. Okay. Because life got in the way. Feel that? Oh, I got it. There's no no exhaust. I have to look out for right. on this one. That's right. No more burn mark. <laughs> motor sound. The Daytona is more exhaust sound. But you can tell this thing has a lot of power. You have a car See? cold that you That's sell me. <laughs> I was gonna wait till it was warm. Oh no, no, you don't need that. This thing is almost anti-theft proof. First 90% of the population can't drive stick shift already. <laughs> With all this other gadget, forget about trying to start this thing. You would yeah, never know right? how to do it. You own the car and you couldn't figure out how to yeah, do it. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to do this thing, <laughs> let alone someone else that's looking at it. Does this one have door locks on the outside? No door locks, nothing. It's a race car. You want a door lock, buy a regular car. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think sounds better? Do you like the GT40 or do you like the Daytona? I'm so torn. They both sound so incredibly amazing, but for different reasons. Do you drive the Daytona? Have you driven it since? Yes, I've driven it quite a bit. Yeah? I, now I get the idea of how to shift that thing, but sometimes I get too excited and I still <laughs> miss gear. But remember, this car came as a roller. You don't really have to do a whole lot because it came... When you say this car as a kit car, it does? It's not really a kit because it's more like a replica. Uh -huh. Because it's already pre-assembled. Only thing you need to do is put an engine transmission in. So it's not like Ikea where you need us. Yeah, yeah, no. It's, it's Actually, it's not like the Daytona where it comes in a bunch of pieces. I miss this car. I genuinely miss this car. Maybe I should buy it back. <laughs> 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 it's making so many noises. 
The car matches the floors. I'm gonna miss this thing. I'm gonna miss it in my yard, just looking at it. Oh. At least I can drive to Daytona. Yeah, come drive it up and hang out with us one day. I will, okay. I sure will. There's no way of getting out of this inside of a trailer. See you soon. That's a goodbye, right? Yeah, this is goodbye. That's it. I promise I'll take good care of her. I hope so. <laughs> Before I go, I can't believe I need to actually say this, but you guys, I love and care about you so much but please don't show up at my place of work. I guess while I've been gone, the neighbors let me know that people have been showing up to try to see the cars or meet me and take a photo. And I know there's no ill intent. And whenever you see me anywhere else besides my work and my home, please, I would love to take a photo with you. I appreciate you guys, but please don't come by. So I found out what the death trap of this car is going to be. So as you guys remember, obviously I burned my leg on the Daytona side exit exhaust. For this one, I think it's gonna be whenever you go in this, you wanna put a hand up here, and I bet you this door gets slammed on someone's hand at some point. Yeah, somebody's gonna definitely guillotine some fingers. <laughs> and now the question is, who's it gonna be first? Well, probably me. <laughs> now, the Daytona, when I brought that back, had been sitting outside for five years. This GT40 has been sitting outside for 20 years. And just like the Daytona, Mike's gonna be cleaning her up. She definitely needs a lot more than I typically would on the Daytona. Yeah, this is a lot dirtier than the Daytona, even like back yeah. here under like the, the glass. Like the seals, like yeah. in the front, like all oh, this, the wiper blades. Oh yeah. Get a little dust on there. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> the seats are just kind of sitting in there, so you can probably pull those out for to vacuum. Oh, wow. There's a whole lot underneath there. And be careful of spiders. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, look at all that. Oh, yeah. It's a real barn find right here. Yeah, she dusty. There's whole spider, like, eggs. Oh, my God, there are spider eggs right there. 20 bucks to eat it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, the guys washed the GT40. We got to show Envy some love. We got to also get her off the lift to put the GT40 on the lift. So we got to finish what we started. And I've been wanting to drive this car, but every time I drive it, I've been having an issue with the hydro just not working. And I want it for drifting. I don't want to solely rely on clutch kicking. So there was a zip tire sandwich in the hub, uh, which was causing the wheel bearing to kind of go like this. So every time I'd pull, it would lose pressure when the caliper and rotor is kind of off centered on the hub. I don't know if that makes sense. Long story short, my handbrake wasn't working on the car. So we were replacing almost everything because we realized we had a bad hub. We're also gonna be switching the dual caliper bracket. We're going away from the one I had on the car, which required me to run a Ford rotor in the rear and instead going to this new GK Tech one in order to run the factory rear rotors. I'm also doing new hubs and going to be finally adding the parking brake back in the car so I can let her idle, pull the parking brake, and not worry about the car rolling away. That was my biggest regret, next to not having AC. That's the plan, gonna get started so that we can get the GT40 up on the left. Sometimes with cars, you gotta order parts twice. And I thought the backing plate, these new e-brake lines from the 300ZX would work for the 240. And I was wrong, apparently I need to swap lines. So I'm ordering new lines. That means we can't get Envy off the lift. So instead we're gonna take Phoenix off the lift. But on the bright side, we get to hear a cold start of Phoenix. <laughs> is cleared off just in time to where the guys have finished the car and this cleans up so nice it's so vibrant and shiny this this paint looks really good although i am thinking about repainting this car you should comment below and let me know what you're thinking or at least tag me in some inspiration photos on instagram this glass you can actually see the carburetor it's a whole different car look at that it looks great these guys did a great job no more bugs no more spider webs should probably figure out why she doesn't drive. So we're gonna push her onto the lift. We'll get her up in the air and let's take a look at things. This is such a cool car to get into. Look how clean this is. This cleaned up so nicely. I can't get over it. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, I mean, it's all brand new, right? Ah! <laughs> What's the new one? It sounds so rough. Oh my God. First and foremost, inspection number one, cannot reach the pedals very well. The seat's also not bolted, so I'm gonna see if this can get in gear. 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I want it. Whoa, it feels like quicksand, but like really thick. Like it doesn't want to go in gear. It goes in fourth, but there's no first. No first. Okay. Uh, kind of second. That doesn't feel good. All right, hitting the brakes. Well, I mean, the brakes work. Oh, yeah? Up and top up. There, I'll just check the other one. Feels like they look pretty good. Yeah. Good? Good. As far as we know, the brakes work. The shifter definitely needs some attention. I guess let's bring it up in the air, right? See underneath? Yeah. It looks really good. You see something? Heater hose. Oh, cracked. Yeah, yeah, a couple of them look a little cracked up there. Heater hose is not so great. I mean, this is pretty much a new car. Like, I don't recall if you said it's ever driven. Oh, or the said previous it's owner never drove been it. driven. Never been never driven. driven, just fired. So I'd imagine it looks pretty good under here. Uh, looks like a water pump might be weak beeping or something. See oh, the... I see that, yep. But I mean, I think we just look past that for right now. It's not actively leaking right this moment, so we're going to ignore it because I think you got to pump the motor out of this thing to do a water pump. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, because yeah, it looks there's like... no access there. Well, we could make access. Is this for fuel? Yeah, that's the bladder. I don't know, maybe we inspect those or just fill them and smell. Yeah. Oh, I was wondering what these plates were. Maybe this is a cover for it. Here we go. That's what these are. Oh, there's that. Yeah. Okay. What else? Everything looks pretty good. I love that this has QA1 suspension on it. I mean, I guess we just nut and bolt it. And... Yeah, we should probably bleed the brakes and just go through the fluids too. Well, I was thinking flush all the fluids. Yeah. I mean, we do have that stuff, right? Aww. Good old no tool. Yeah, right yeah. when you need the light to work, it dies. Yeah. <laughs> I think this looks pretty good, you guys. I'm super excited about this purchase. I'm really excited to start working on this car. And more than anything, I feel like we just got to figure out the shifter and we should be able to put this around the parking lot. Oh, Maybe man. get on it. What? should just get rid of it. What? There's a paint run. <laughs> Well, if you guys are as excited about this build as I am, please subscribe if you don't already. Share this video, give it a like, comment below. Let me know what color you want to see the GT40 and what you are most excited about. This is insane and I'm so incredibly excited for this and where this takes us. I also have an update on the Mustang soon. We got the new clutch. It should hold all the horse purrs and we're going to be taking her to the track soon as well as an update on Phoenix soon and hopefully we'll have the 240 done and drifting shortly here as well. Lots of updates, a lot of fun and exciting things coming shortly. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Ikra, we out here with love. Bye! Why did the road all of a sudden get so bumpy?